Oh, look, I didn't even do this on purpose. I wore the apron to match the book, the Mali Blue. So here we are back in my home kitchen. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to make the cold and crunchy green beans with garlicky pistachio vinaigrette. This is a sleeper hit, or maybe it's not a sleeper because a sleeper suggests that people don't make it, but it like was a sneaky hit from the first book where whenever I'm out in the world and someone comes up to me and they're like, I have your cookbook, your first book and I love it so much. Eight out of 10 times they're, they talk about this recipe the cold and crunchy green beans, which is like, why? It's green beans. And the reason is because they're addictively delicious. And the reason that they're so delicious is that they are blanched and then shocked in ice water. And so they're like really cold and crisp and refreshing. And they're very well seasoned, which we'll talk about later. And then they have this really amazing pistachio garlic vinaigrette on them. So not only am I gonna walk you through the full recipe, but we're gonna take a couple minutes here today and really dive into blanching because it's a technique that I feel like people, whoopsies, don't know that much about and like kind of don't know what it means. And they've heard of boiling, but they're like, what's blanching? And it's something that you can use on a lot of different foods, vegetables, starches, all sorts of things. So we're gonna do a little blanching deep dive in the middle of this. But to start, let's get the recipe going. So. We're gonna bring a pot of water to a boil. There's a measured amount of water in this pot. It's back here, it's boiling, I already did it. Four quarts of water. The next thing, and this is absolutely crucial to the success of this recipe and really to any blanching that you're going to do, is the seasoning. Come with me to the salt cabinet because we are going to need a lot of it. This is a preposterous amount of salt. Four quarts of water, one and a half cups of salt. Oh, that's so much salt. Oh my goodness, like absurd. Woo! Okay, so one and a half cups, just let it rip. So that's the first step to blanching. The second step, and this is just like a preparation thing, is ice water. A blanch is all about really quickly and efficiently boiling a vegetable that with highly seasoned water and then stopping the cooking immediately thereafter once you've got it exactly where you want it. So we're gonna taste these as they cook and once they're like perfectly crisp tender, we're gonna take them out of the water and we're gonna dunk them into an ice bath and that's gonna stop the cooking. If we didn't put them in an ice bath, they would keep cooking, they would turn drab and like olive green and then they'd get flabby and that would suck. So while the water comes to a boil, we're gonna do a little bit of prep just so that we can right from there. Let's talk about the vinaigrette. This is a garlicky pistachio vinaigrette. It's one of the most delicious dressings in the world. It starts with three quarters of a cup of roasted salted pistachios. So I just buy them salted and roasted because they're so great and that makes it so easy. If you can only find raw pistachios, just toast them with a little bit of oil and salt um, in the oven at 350 until they're roasty toasty. We're just chip chopping away here and I like to spend the time here doing this so that the nuts get like really finely chopped because then they sort of become one with the dressing, almost in like a pesto -y way. Okay, so the nuts are going into a bowl and basically I'm gonna dress all of the green beans in this bowl. So I'm gonna build the dressing in the bottom of a large bowl that it looks obviously larger than it needs to be for a salad dressing, but then we'll add the beans and then we'll have like a lot of room in the bowl to toss and move it all around and get it going. All right, so the next thing we need in the dressing is some grated garlic. So I have one large garlic clove and a microplane and I'm grating it right in. If you don't have a microplane, you could smash it with the side of your knife um, and mash it to a paste. And then since we're already using the microplane, I'm gonna grab one lemon and add the zest of a lemon. You will see me call for lemon zest a lot in my recipes and that's because it's a way to add like citrusy brightness to a recipe without adding liquid or acid, and it's just like a different expression of lemon that's a bit more like floral. So now I'm gonna cut this lemon and just squeeze the juice in. This is actually going to take the juice of two lemons. And then little trick, 
if you hold your hand underneath, but like let your fingers part as you drip the juice down, you'll catch the seeds. And then the next thing is we need olive oil because we just put a lot of acid and garlic and this is a dressing. So I'm eyeballing this, but you can do the measured amount if you want, but basically like you're whisking to kind of emulsify it all together. And then we get this like really nice creamy pistachio vinaigrette, but that's not all. The last thing we're gonna do is add grated parm. So this is, I grated this in a food processor, which gives it this like really nice texture. Okay, so here's our dressing. It tastes great, I just tried it. Um, and it's creamy and chunky and it's gonna cling to these beans and you're gonna love it. That's literally all it is. Now we're gonna go talk about blanching and then we're gonna pull it all together. And um, if your green beans still have the little stems, trim them before you blanch them. So our water, this is our blanching water. It just looks like water, it's a pot of water. Blanching is boiling. Um, so it's just like a fancy term for boiling. We're gonna add all the beans. Um, I have it over high heat because I want the water to return to a boil ASAP so that they can start moving and cooking. Basically like what we wanna do is cook these really quickly, get them nice and tender, but not belabor the process. If it were over low heat and they were just like gently poaching in there, by the time they were tender, they would lose all of their chlorophyll and they would turn like a drab green color. And so doing it really fast and then immediately putting them in an ice bath stops the cooking and seals the color in so that they stay bright green. And that's blanching, folks. I mean, it's literally just boiling some shit really fast. So we've been in here for about two minutes now. We're back up to a simmer. And in my experience with green beans, you need like at least four minutes to cook them. So we're gonna give them a couple more before we start tasting. You don't wanna overcook them. No limp dicks around here. Mmm, they're there. And they're seasoned now. They're really good. All right, so that's how I like them. Just cooked through, a little bit snappy, but not crunchy, not fibrous. And I'm using a spider to transfer them to the ice bath to stop the cooking. The green beans are sufficiently chilled now, so we're going to dump all of the water out. And then, and I think this is pretty key to this recipe, is like really draining them really well and then patting them dry so that all the water gets wicked away. That way the water doesn't dilute the dressing and make it less flavorful. I do this on a big kitchen towel. Actually, this is a bath towel, but who cares? Um, and just kind of lay them out and pat them nice and dry. Yeah, that feels fun. Now we've got our dry cold beans. And then all we're doing is adding them to our dressing. And this is a great recipe because it, it'll be great right now, like great fun little salad moment, but also as the beans sit and soak up this garlicky dressing, it just gets more and more flavorful. It won't stay as bright green if you come back to it the next day, but the benefit is all of the flavors have had a chance to meld and the beans are soaking up the lemon juice and the garlic and everything. And so this is a great make ahead, like picnic or potluck recipe. They're so good. So refreshing. Like a green bean to me, normally, historically, has often been served warm and kind of flabby. These are the opposite of that. So if like you are weirded out by sad, overcooked, mushy green beans, these are the green beans for you. So not only did we make ourselves a delicious platter of beans, but we learned about the importance of blanching. And I hope that it's a technique that you take into your kitchens because it's not scary at all.